Hello everyone and welcome here. My name is Heather aka Hey Hey Crochet and in today's video we're going to see how much I can crochet in a week. So I've got like my mojo back. I want to crochet so much. I have so many ideas or gifts or just some projects that I need to get done that I'm like I want to get them all done now. So let's see how many of them I can get done in the span of a week. This video is actually only going to be filmed in a span of five days, but if we're accounting for everything I crocheted in a seven day week, I've already crocheted some things like this ottoman mushroom cover right behind me, and then also two book covers for some friends. So this and the book covers were crocheted Friday and Saturday. Today's Sunday, and so from Sunday until next Friday, I'm going to be filming. From today, Sunday, until Thursday, I'm going to be crocheting. And then by Thursday or Friday morning, afternoon, we're going to see everything that I have crocheted. And I forgot knitted. I'm going to be knitting too. I'm probably only going to be knitting one thing this week, maybe two. We'll see how much I can actually get done. Like I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little delulu. I'm feeling like I can get so much done. Like everything on my list, I feel like I can get that done so fast, so easy. But then I might be biting off more than I can chew. So we'll see. <laughs> I have the list of everything that I want to crochet and knit this week. First, we have, I have another mushroom ottoman right here that I also want to crochet another cover for. So that's on the list, but it's not a need that I need to get done by the end of the week. And then we have my granny square blanket that I'm crocheting. I didn't do last week, so I'm now two weeks behind, but that's probably going to be the first thing I do in this video because it'll be super quick and I can get it done really fast. Another one, which I think is the one I'm most a Lulu about. I want to crochet a whole sweat, no. I want to knit a whole sweater, a swan sweater, because this coming Saturday, I'm going to see Swan Lake, the ballet, and I wanna wear a little swan sweater. So I think I'll be able to get that done before the weekend, but that might take me all week we'll see and i might crochet one more book cover for my friend i don't know and then i have this sweater that i need to knit the sweet sleeves <laughs> i need to knit the sleeves on that might not take too long i might be able to do that and then i need to make three beanies for my sister who wants to give them to this family who's going through a hard time right now so i want to knit those no i'm crocheting those i want to crochet those as soon as possible so i can give them to her to give to them and then for another friend that i will be going to the ballet with i want to crochet her a water bottle holder with like maybe a little pouch on the front you can put things in i've seen a few of those on pinterest but anyway so that's one two three four five six seven that's seven different things that I want to crochet and knit this week. And we only have five days. I'm feeling ambitious, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I can do it. So let's see. The first thing I'm going to do real quick is that granny square. I also have to film a reel slash YouTube short for it. We'll do that first. So without further ado, let's get into this video. just finished the two rows that I needed to. That only took like 10, 15 minutes, maybe. And I finished my reel, so this is done for another week. The next thing that I think I'm going to work on is the swan sweater. I'm so excited. And what? I have put this behind my ear so many times and it keeps popping out watch it pop back up in a little bit i have one small dilemma the pattern calls for the size i'm making 450 not 400 750 grams of yarn and i only have seven skeins and each one of these are 100 
so I'm 50 grams short. But I'm hoping just like my tension and everything will, like this will be enough. I do have one tank top that I made like two years ago with this yarn that I'm willing to take apart for this sweater. Hopefully it won't come to that. Also, funny story about this sweater. I wanted to make it on a whim. And so one night I just bought a pattern to make like a raglan chunky sweater. And then I pulled out all of this yarn. And then I realized I did not even have the needles to make it. So then I went on Amazon and I ordered what I needed. And so I got 15 millimeter needles and then all of the different size different sized um, quartz. Yeah, I did that several nights ago, like probably Thursday or Wednesday night. And so I've been waiting for these to come in. They just came in last night. So I can finally start this sweater. These have instructions on how to connect them. I only ever use clover hooks. I mean needles for knitting. And these are knitters pride because clover didn't have any 15 millimeter, 16 inch ones that I could find. Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to figure out how to use these. So I have to use this little metal thing in here. Maybe everyone does this. I've never had to do this before, but I have to use this little metal piece to make sure it connects. That connected pretty good. Why would I need, why would I need to do that? Sorry if the lighting keeps changing. It's very dreary and rainy outside, but what better time than dreary weather to crochet and knit all day long? That is doing absolutely nothing. This is like, I'm so confused right now. I don't know what that's supposed to do, but we're just gonna ignore that and hope for the best. They are much harder to screw on than my clover needles are. It is already coming undone. <gasps> I don't know how to do this. I forgot how much I love knitting with chunky yarn and needles. These needles are, so, I've never used Knitter's Pride before, but they are, they just knit so smoothly. It feels so nice. I love it. Finished the neck piece, which was just five rows of stock knit. I'm gonna take a break and eat lunch and then we will come back. Okay, I just got back from running errands and this is how much I have. It's hard to tell because it's so bunched up right here. So I do need to switch to a longer cord, but I have, I think three or four increase rows done. So we're like halfway through almost. Also, I figured out what this little metal thing is and you use it as a handle to more easily loosen and tighten the needles off. So it's actually really cool. Okay, I just, oop, I just successfully transferred it to a longer cord. So I'm just gonna continue knitting.
we have the main body done and I got done way more today than I thought I would have so I'm super happy about that I'm gonna take a break for the night because I'm tired tomorrow I will knit the sleeves okay it's a new day it's actually quite late it's almost one o'clock and i was hoping to get into this much sooner but i had a lot a lot of errands and had a lot a lot of things i had to get done so we're starting now i don't think i hope that these will not take me too long but i'm ready to get started i think i might have enough yarn to finish this like without unraveling that tank top i was talking about because i have four skeins left hopefully that's enough to make the sleeves we'll see Yo, I don't know if you can tell, but the sun is coming out and I am so happy. I have not seen the sun in like four days and it's been getting me kind of down. But now that the sun's out, I feel I feel like I can take on the world. It's She's done. I actually had quite a bit of yarn left. I had these two and then about half, maybe a little less than half. So it only took me five skeins to make this. I don't know what I did so differently, but I'm not mad. I'm very happy. I really did not think that I would have enough yarn. I did do a few things different than what was in the pattern. Like I did, it was some weird bind off. I was like, I don't have the brain capacity to do this, so I just did a normal bind off, cast off, whatever it's called in the sleeves. I didn't do as many decreases, but I'm glad I didn't because these look like how they're supposed to in the photo, but I only did two decreases in the whole sleeve. So I don't know how mine came out so different. I know it's probably because I didn't do a gauge swatch, but whatever. It's so cute. I can't wait to put the swan on it. I think I'm going to take a break though from the sweater because I just need a break from knitting. So I think I'm going to crochet something next, probably after dinner, give my eyes a rest because my eyes are just been looking too close to my knitting for too long. So I need a rest with my eyes, a rest with my hands, and then we can move on. I'm already making so much progress and I've listened to like 25% of a book. I'm feeling so good, so productive. The sun is shining. I'm so happy. We're gonna have a bit of a change of scenery because I need to stop sitting on the couch for countless hours because it's making my back hurt. So I'm just gonna sit somewhere else and that should fix it. Anywho, as I showed a tiny little clip last night, I started making the water bottle, water bottle, water bottle holder, but I think it might be a bit flimsy. Even though this is some substantial cotton, I did it by another scheme just in case, like if this wasn't gonna be enough, but this is going to be plenty. I think I might take this out and double this up so it'll be nice and thick. Yeah. I'm using a 4.5 hook, but I might, I don't know if I should go up to a five or a six. We shall see. So first things first is I'm gonna take this apart. Mm -hmm. 
I got a clean center pool out of both of these skeins. So that's just wonderful. Now I'm just gonna start crocheting the same bottle holder. I just cannot get this right. It's not working. My friend's water bottle, like the bottom of it is the same width as the bottom of, I mean, her whole bottle, same width as the bottom of mine. So I'm using that as like a little model, but I cannot get the size right. So this is a fourth time I'm taking it out and making no progress. That's just how it be sometimes. So here we go again. I think that this is looking good. I'm alternating between double crochet and half double crochet because I want to, and it's coming out the way I want. Fifth times the try. Fifth times. What's the saying? The charm. Fifth time. Fifth times the charm. I'm going to continue with this. Probably gonna take a tiny little break and make some toast. I'm watching some YouTube right now, and I'm taking a break from Caraval. But Caraval is so good. I love it. I'm 50% through right now, but. Who knows? I'll probably finish it maybe today, probably tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. I am going to take a break now because this yarn is very stiff and working with two of them is even stiffer. My wrists are very tired and strained. I'll come back and finish this strap. I'd say I'm about halfway done with the strap. She is done. This literally hurt my hands so bad they still hurt. They're so sore because this yarn is already very like stiff and harder to work with and I did it with two two strands of the yarn, but it feels, feels good. I have this water bottle as a prop. I think I'm going to make a little charm to like tie to it, but it'll be removable. So if she wants to put it on something else and I want to make it openable so she can like put something in it, like chapstick, maybe some money. I don't know. There it is. Okay. For the bag charm, I think I'm actually going to use my own flower pattern, which I have a tutorial for it here on YouTube and on my blog. So I think I'm just going to make two of those, sew it together, but leave a little opening so it can be like a charm bag pouch situation. We'll see how it goes.
Okay, today's day four, I think. And it is Valentine's Day. So me and my husband are gonna go run some errands, do some stuff. But in the car ride, since there's a lot of driving involved, I'm going to be crocheting the beanies now. I think I'll be able to get them all done today. My hands and wrists are feeling much better after yesterday. Yep, that's the plan for today. I got home a little while ago. In the car ride, I finished this beanie, as I think I already showed in another clip. There's gonna be little tiny bear ears on here on every one of them. I need to make two more. I need to make one more in this size and then a smaller one for a child. I actually forgot how old the child is, so I will have to re-ask my sister. Basically one and a half more and I'm done. All the hats are done. I need to make bear ears for all of them because that's what my sister wanted on them. But I might save that for another time because I won't be able to give them to her this weekend, but maybe next weekend. So I'm just gonna call it good here with the beanies probably. Unless I got a lot of extra time today, I might make all the ears. But for now, we're just gonna take a break. I'm gonna get ready for the day and then I don't know if I'm going to do my swan sweater or the mushroom cover. I'll probably do the swan sweater, we'll see. We're back at the kitchen table because I need a flat surface to work on. I've got stitch markers, my scissors, a needle, and the yarn. And disclaimer before I make this, this idea of a swan sweater is not my idea. I saw a couple of accounts. I saw a couple of pictures on Pinterest of a swan sweater and I saw a crocheted one and a knit one and I'll put them here and I'll put the names of the creators. But I saw those and I was like, I need one for myself. But neither of them have patterns, so I'm like, I'm just gonna just make it myself. This is not my original idea. I'm not taking credit for it. With that out of the way, I am going to start like kind of mapping out where I want this swan to be on my sweater. I know like this doesn't look, look like it makes sense, but it makes sense to me. It's how many stitches wide this one's gonna be, and then how many stitches tall. So it's a rough guide. And I found a few graphics, a few like pixel grids on Pinterest, but a lot of them are way too wide or tall. So I made one in Procreate instead. I don't know if you can see that, but. So this is the one I made and I'm going to stitch it on this baby. This chair is so loud. 
I'm already hating myself. This is taking forever. I'm not even done with the body, but I'll get it done tonight. Okay, it is now Friday. So it's been a week since I started all these mini projects and I'm done. So let's recap on everything I made this week starting off today's friday so last friday i didn't film it but i made the cover for this mushroom ottoman and then saturday i made these two book covers book sleeves whatever you want to call them to give to the girlies the book girlies and then I crocheted two rows of this. It's not that exciting. And then I knit this sweater. <gasps> I'll show some pictures of what it looks like on so you can get a better look of it. But I absolutely adore this. I love it. I cannot wait to wear it tomorrow. So yes, we have my swan sweater. I knit it, I think, Monday and Tuesday. And then I just finished it yesterday, the swan. Or maybe that was Sunday. Sunday and Monday? I don't remember. Tuesday, I think I made this. We have this water bottle holder and this little pouch. Should be looking pretty cute, pretty cute. And then Thursday, I made all these beanies. No, wait, Wednesday. Don't listen to me talking about what day I made what because I absolutely have no idea. But I made all these beanies and they're not finished i need to still put on the ears like i think i already mentioned and then thursday i literally spent all day embroidering this on here or duplicating duplicating duplicate stitching it on there so yeah i didn't get done everything that i wanted to i wanted to make another mushroom cover for my other mushroom ottoman but i never found the time and i didn't get to knit the sleeve on this baby I hate knitting sleeves. Like, I love knitting the body. It's so fun. But once it comes to sleeves, I'm like, it's going to be done in three to five business months, maybe. This is what I was going to knit the sleeves on, but I never got around to it. So we didn't check off everything on the list, but that's okay. It's more realistic. I couldn't get it all done, but I got the majority of the stuff I needed to get done, done. I'm happy with it. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like these types of videos. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can Stay up to date when I come out with new patterns and videos and whatnot. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!